welcome back with another video today we have call of duty black ops 6 movement overview it's on both screens without further ado let's get straight into the video with black ops 6 our goal is to create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode We've pushed ourselves at every corner to innovate and craft the most signature Black Ops experience for our players. Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. And with Black Ops 6, we're redefining movement across the entire game. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. This unlocks what? Bro, I swear. It's like, I, bro, I've been saying this. It's the same thing for, um, like, Fortnite, too, as well. It's like, I say things like, bro, they need to put this in the game. Next thing you know, a few months later, there it is. I've been saying that. It's like, I feel restricted. Because if it's IRL, I'm doing some shit, Patch. I'm running on the wall. I'm taking two steps on the wall with the shotgun and that. I'm doing... So that should be no all jokes aside. IRL, I'm I'm running off the wall with the shotgun, straight up. Like I'm just doing different things. So this is an upgrade. This is a this is a W. We got to see how it play out. But this is a W. This is the cyberpunk era now. Because I think that's you just moving back. Hold on, when you're on Warzone, you moving back. You like, hold on, can you even do that? I don't, yeah, I don't even think you can do that. It's like it's just, I don't like how you 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 can't do much. But on here, you can do a lot sideways. You can dive in and shoot. Max Payne, one of my favorite games of all time. So you get the dive in all directions. You get to be prone and turn. That's crazy. But when this come out and people playing this, if I'm playing this, I'm not going back to Warzone. I feel too restricted. I can't do much. I got to wait until I hit the ground to shoot. IRL, I'm diving and shooting. I just ask for, it is the Black Ops series. I just ask when you bring the C4 and I double tap with fast hands that I detonate it in the air. Like Black Ops 2. And if you was running around with the thing where you need to be blown up three times, I'm hitting you with the rocket, then I'm throwing both C4 and blowing you up. And I was fast as hell. You you wasn't stopping me. But yeah, that was my favorite thing. Like, And another thing they need to bring back that people loved in Black Ops 2, you can create your own emblem. A lot of people had crazy emblems, like naked thoughts for their thing. I get it. I had a, a shot in gun. With the with the with the diamond gun, that shit was hard. Like they need to bring that back to where you can create your own instead of just having a sticker on your gun. They need to make it as they just need to make it as creative as possible to where people can like be more creative, more engaged with it. So if this is going on, then what's what's next? I'm gonna be able to run off the wall, at least take two steps off the wall and shoot. I hope so. Is we gonna be able to do the face scan? I mean. 2k doing it i hope so i want my own skin why can't i get my own operator why well, i always gotta have an ugly ass hop operator like hutch running around this motherfucker my favorite operator on warzone is cleo i gotta find her irl i don't know who she is but whoever played her send me her information but yeah i want my own skin that's crazy we really have officially entered cyberpunk era. And they need to do a collab with Stone Cold Steve Austin for the finisher so he can do the stunner and a, a collab with Randy Orton. They need to put me in office because all you guys do is care about money, right? These corporations, it's about making money. My ideas is unlimited. It's infinite. It'll bring in billions. They need to put me in office and have me... But this may be a W. We got to see how it play first. But just looking at it, though, I feel like a lot of games, if this successful, a lot of games is going to follow suit and do that, too. So I don't like being restricted. I can't do what I want to do, what I would do IRL or something. Like, 
we gonna see though. Hopefully I'm streaming by the I should have been streaming already, but I got things going on IRL, so I'm playing catch up a little bit, but hopefully I'm streaming by then. Oh my bad. It's the ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive. Look, hold on. Ugh. And I'm dead out with the shotgun dead out. You get to slide in and shoot, bro. Slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion. From the beginning, we started with, yes. you can't do this thing, why? And then realize people actually move that way. What happens if we get rid of that construct? And then instantly it opened up like, oh, if you can sprint in any direction, then you can dive in any direction, you could slide in any direction, which then led to all the on the ground movement and everything else chaining together. It's really been something that changes how you think and play the game, whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies. We truly believe that once you experience Omni movement, there's no going back. We also have what we're calling intelligent movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing. How's this going? How's this going to work on controller? I'm on P5. I gotta build me a PC, man. I gotta build me a PC, so. I gotta build me a PC. How's that gonna work if I'm moving back and I'm. Cause it, that shit ain't fair, bro. Being on PlayStation, I don't care. PlayStation, Xbox going against PC is not fair. I don't care about the aim assist. It's not fair. It's not the same. It's not the same. But, um. Yeah, I wonder how that's gonna be, though. But. If I'm playing this and I get to do all this Warzone, goodbye. I'm not playing it at that point. If I get the move like this, I'm not playing Warzone. I gotta wait. I gotta dive and hit the ground and actually start shooting. And then you got Caillou's that's jumping and shooting and they win because they jumping and shooting. That's not realistic. I don't like that shit. You probably the one, one of the ones I'm talking about that's jumping and shooting trying to win a gun battle. God, it's try, do that IRL. I bet I, I smoke you. If I'm IRL and I'm... And you and you jump in, I'm a knock. Let's continue. To perform various movements. These can be enabled in player options, and they're broken down into three categories. Sprint assist, mantle assist, and crouch assist. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Intelligent movement really started with this idea that we want all players to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. We want every player, regardless of skill level or input or experience with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni Movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. We looked at other genres like racing games where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of taking that thinking and applying it to our own movement option. Have you seen that wall? Imagine he can take like two steps off the wall, like one, two, and shoot, or one, two, and dive or something. Or that can be a perk or something. Like, that a bro. My idea is it's like no other, I'm telling you. And hopefully you ain't implementing the AI bot. That, that mute people for no reason. Stop doing that. Call of Duty fans is toxic and always been. I agree with freedom of speech. Let them say what they're going to say. I'm not offended. Because you can't talk shit better than me. What I'm going to say is relevant. It's creative. I'm witty. I'm fast. And I'm a lyricist. And I'm a linguist. You're not going to beat me in no shit talking battle. So let the Caillou say what they're going to say. I promise you we're not offended. But yeah. Because they didn't muted me like four times already on Warzone. Ever since that update, y'all should have been put that in the terms. How are you going to implement that after I paid for skins? Give me my money back before I call the credit card company and dispute. Let's continue. I don't think this is a one size fits all thing. And I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. I want my own skin, bro. That's the Hit next zones level. are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. 
In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. So we, now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right. That's another thing I wanted. I heard it's on here. Like when you, if I shoot your ass with a shotgun IRL, you're gonna lift off your feet some diameters and you're gonna fall. I want it, I want it like that. Like somebody gets shot with a pump, they really fly in the air a little bit. They get blow up by a grenade. They, they. I want it to be very realistic. It's like, and don't. I hope they not doing that. Where they adding Godzilla skins and shit. I hope you not not doing it. If you wanna put some, put an alien there or something, cause at least we know aliens real. That's it. Don't put no Godzillas and no and, and no. That shit y'all doing on Warzone. Stop that. Leave that at Warzone. I'm seeing people run with with, with purple crystals on their back and shit like. And you said this is the realest game yet. Right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. So world connectivity is this concept that players' Bouncing movement Betty. and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. A great example that really shines is a global feature we call corner slicing, where as you round a corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's going to dynamically rotate like in the direction six. that you're rounding that corner. That's a w. And you since it's door. dynamic, it'll be a bit more door. dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed around that same corner. We are constantly looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops 6. Yo, that's crazy. I heard you can hold a hostage. I don't know if that's just in campaign mode. Hopefully it's in regular mode too. If you can sneak up behind somebody, you can have them. And then they own man can and drop their own mans like in Rainbow Six. That'd be just make it as realistic as possible. But yeah. It's been years I've been speaking on shit like this in the Call of Duty lobbies. Like when you're talking with your buddies and all that, I think they hearing me out. Because it's like every time I'm saying something, months later, they're doing it now. But yeah, I want to be able to run off the wall. Take two steps off the wall, how you can, IRL, and then shoot. shoot. Or two steps off the wall and dive. Like, yeah. Y'all gonna see some, bro. If this game really good, y'all gonna see the craziest gameplay. You know how we had the craziest clips on the first Warzone things you're saying? Now it's gonna be way more crazy at that point because you can do a lot more. And to the casuals, whoopsie, it's gonna, it's, you ain't, it's gonna be somebody on the ground. You and he camping, he gonna hear you sneak up on him. What's that called when somebody sound, whatever it's called? And he's going to turn around prone on the ground and kill you. You ain't going to get no kills, casuals. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't put skill-based matchmaking. I like going against whoever it is. Just just random. Don't skill. That's trash. Sometimes I want to relax. You forcing me to sweat to play against tryhards that ain't going to win nothing. I don't want to do I don't want to try hard. Sometimes I want to relax, which is most of the time. I want to relax. Not be fully engaged. And then I go. But we'll see when this come out. This might be a W again. Hopefully, I'm streaming by then, bro. I got to get me a PC build. I heard if you buy a PC, it's going to be trash no matter what. You can spend 8000 It's going to be trash still. Like, So, I need to build a PC or something somehow, bro. I'll start staring like that. I want my own skin. Call of Duty, you got to give me my own skin. A lot of people would buy my skin. It ain't the matter of, oh, he's nobody. Yeah, you right. I ain't nobody right now. But still, though, my operator will look better than all the operators. You ain't going to tell me that. You ain't going to tell me it's not. Yeah, it is. My operator going to be tough. Like, you got to put me in the game, coach. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. I don't know what I'm going to be streaming on. I'm probably going to pick Twitch again because I think kick, they got they got some work to do still. Um, what a time to be alive. It's crazy. Some people passed away just yesterday. They ain't going to get to play this game, Caillou. I'm going to get to play this. I'm going to get to play, what, GTA 6? 6? Five is out. Yeah, I'm gonna get to play GTA 6. Ain't nothing stopping that. You can only get dropped off 
if, if you're not on your purpose, then you liable to go back to spectator mode, purgatory. But yeah, I'm on my purpose, so I'm going to live to see it. I'm going to get the English. Us versus them, man. I'll see you on the next video. I'm out.